Hi my friends, this is Matthias from Manila. This is a piece of concrete, you all know it. Cement, one of the main components of concrete together with sand and water, is the world's largest used material. And you know what's the problem with it? It's made from limestone. Limestone is the raw material, calcium carbonate. We have to burn it at 1400 Celsius. And when we burn it, we release all of the CO2 emissions that Mother Nature captured in the limestone. In addition, we need to burn coal or other fuel to get it at that temperature. One ton of cement, one ton of carbon dioxide. Isn't that crazy? At the same time, cement production is nearly twice the CO2 emissions of all the planes in the world together. We think we are damaging the environment when we fly, but we don't realize that when we use cement and concrete, we have a huge environmental impact. This is a piece of concrete with zero cement content. And the other amazing news about it, it's not just a new product, it's a higher performance product. This one was put in a crushing machine where the compressive strength was measured. That is what you measure to get of how this piece is. This one only cracked at 130 Newton per square millimeter. This, the civil engineers will be able to tell you, you cannot achieve with normal concrete. So this is an innovation that's even better than the conventional product. It's as well more chemically resistant because normal cement cannot cope with salt water and acids very well. We need green innovations. We need products where the green solution is even better than the conventional solution. Help us to make money with healing the planet rather than with destroying the planet. The other unique thing about this technology, we call it Maleki Ultra High Performance Concrete, which we haven't yet launched out there in the marketplace on any large scale because we do it on a small level because you need huge infrastructure, huge resources to roll out concrete out there in the marketplace and you'll be competing against the established players. One unique aspect of this is normal cement is very exothermic. It generates a lot of heat when it cures. That's why you have expansion contraction. That's why you get a lot of uh, cracking in some concrete structures. This material has hardly any heat being generated. When they did the Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur, they needed to achieve a high compressive strength. I think it was between about 80 to 90 uh, Newton per square millimeter. And they had extreme heat built up, so they bought all of the ice in Kuala Lumpur. You couldn't get it in pubs anymore because it was all being used when the foundation of the Twin Towers was poured to cool down the very uh, hot concrete because of the extreme compressive strength. We can get higher compressive strength at no major exothermic heat built up because we have a totally new binder system. We use more or less the same principle that the Romans used when they built the Pantheon. They used volcano ash. Volcano ash mixed with lime, mixed with some aggregate, is the foundation of the Pantheon. It still stands strong today. Volcano ash was there, provided by Mother Nature. No extra boiling, or burning or uh, kiln was needed. Nowadays we can use fly ash, we can use blast furnace slag or volcano ash without additional burning and additional CO2 emission we can use this secondary waste or raw material or natural material as a way of substituting cement to achieve higher performance and lower carbon footprint. That's the future. Support new innovative green building materials with minimal carbon footprint.